go. Hello, everybody. Small update to our beloved Chicken Chess Club podcast. Pretty much when we were finished recording on Monday, Magnus Carlsen ruined our plans by releasing a statement, but he did not expect our incredible work ethic. So we summoned again for the small update on a Tuesday to talk you through the world champion's official statement, um, which he published on his Twitter here to make sense of it all. Of course, Magnus's head coach, long-term friend and spokesperson, Peter Heine Nielsen, and his other coach, Laurent Fressinet. Guys, are you ready? Yeah. Yes. We are. Excellent. Then let's dive straight into the statement. Of course, what we're talking about is the Niemann Carlsen scandal. What's the official term? The chess scandal. And Magnus kept saying, yeah, he will speak on it at a later note. And here we have a statement. Dear Chess World, at the 2022 Sinkfield Cup, I made the unprecedented professional decision to withdraw from the tournament after my round three game against Hans Niemann. A week later, during the Champions Chess Tour, I resigned against Hans Niemann after playing only one move. All right, so far, that much we knew, right? Yeah, just uh, listing facts. So, yeah, he, he learned from you, Jan. I mean, like, putting putting up the context and then going into details. Great job, Magnus. I know that my actions have frustrated many in the chess community. I'm frustrated. I want to play chess. I want to continue to play chess at the highest level in the best events. So, yeah, so far we don't, I mean, no, nothing new under the sun. I mean, it's not really one of the best events he wants to skip in the future, no? <laughs> Which one? World Championship? That's true. I read in some criticism of FIDE here, but it's probably on me. <laughs> Yeah. You could state that you're not frustrated because yeah. you had a lovely time in St. Louis, like going to baseball games. Uh, well, I would have done that anyway, just after the event. But yes. Um, okay. Anyway, I agree. I think he is just uh, sort of building the pretext for what's to come. Exciting. And let's continue. I believe that cheating in chess is a big deal and an existential threat to the game. I also believe that chess organizers and all those who care about the sanctity of the game we love, should seriously consider increasing security measures and method of cheat detection for over-the-board chess. When Niemann was invited last minute to the 2022 Sinkfield Cup, I strongly considered withdrawing prior to the event. I ultimately chose to play. Okay, now we're talking. Yeah, so he's addressing a topic which uh, actually since the pandemic is a big, big topic. Uh, I see many, many top players discussing about uh, cheating and especially cheating online, but uh, it was never uh, addressed, or basically never addressed publicly. Uh, so he's addressing this very serious topic, of course, uh, that we, we, we talked about, about uh, cheating and how to try to prevent it. Uh, because uh, obviously uh, this kind of situations, uh, as Magnus uh, was doing from tournament, is not uh, is far <laughs> from ideal. We just all uh, uh, hate it, I think. But you are mentioning online chess. He's specifically talking about detection for over the board chess. Yeah, no, but I mean, like, he's addressing a topic which has been discussed uh, mainly uh, for online chess, uh, as far as I know. Uh, I mean, like, um, over the board chess, there were not so many cases of of suspicion. And what I don't, um, what I don't get after this, uh, we talked about it in, in the podcast, but still, I mean, like, after this fella, uh, two thousand ten. I mean, these 15 minutes were uh, all delay were all over the place in every Olympian, in the next Olympian. And then it just disappeared. I mean, it's like people uh, forgot about uh, that it was possible to cheat. Like in India, for instance, it, no no delay. Some checking, but still, I guess, so many people around. I even could say hi to, to Peter in the playing hall, which is, I mean, you could give me some, I some hints. I wouldn't, I wouldn't help you. Yeah. yeah, but we, we talked during the game. I mean, much worse 
product. So it's always a yeah. a compromise. I think we all agree that cheating measures are are good, but it's always a question what and at what price in the entertainment business. I mean, having a sports event delayed 15 minutes, then, you know, when it's actually over, people will come out from the spectator area. They will tell you, you will miss the last 15 minutes of an exciting event. It's not really good. I mean, it's not a sustainable solution for, I mean, a sport you're trying to market as a spectator sport uh, either, I would say. But, I mean, it is marked that he's specifying online, uh, sorry, not online, but over-the-board things here. Yeah, I don't think that was a coincidence that the -the over-the-board is being mentioned. Also, I think I I mentioned this already, but of course, we're curious what changed between the FTX Crypto Cup, where as far as Magnus has said uh, so far, um, he didn't have any issues playing playing Neiman. There, Neiman lost the seven matches, and then there was a couple of days for the Sinkfield Cup, and um, something, some information or something in his thinking must have changed until then, if we believe that timeline that he strongly considered withdrawing prior to, to the event, which I think Fabi and others also mentioned. So there was probably some talk between players. Anyway, he says, I ultimately chose to play. Let's move on. Yeah, no, but it's, it's a very good point what you're saying, that something happened in the meantime. He probably talked to someone who just uh, brought his attention to, to Neiman. Maybe that's my, 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 my guess. And then maybe he checked the games and his, uh, his over the board operation. I mean, I don't know, but something, yeah, something clearly, clearly happened. Uh, that's, uh, that's for sure. Peter, were you in Miami, by the way? I no. can't record. No. No, 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 I do know that there was a lot of behind the scenes chatter during this Miami event, even about the games there. But with Hans losing all seven matches, it's not the most suspicious you can behave in such a tournament, I would say. I mean, there was some time between the events. I mean, Magnus didn't stay in the States, he went back to Norway. So, I did. I didn't know yeah. that. Well, no, like he, he said days, that, right? I think, even when they had this announcement uh, about uh, chess.com and play Magnus, there was this video, and I think he, he finishes off with sort of what, I mean, that he's going to go back to Norway now, and he hasn't been at home for, for two months. So, I mean, my guess is that you, you say a couple of days, my hunch would be that there is at least a week between the two events. But, nah, I mean, can I mean, probably verify that, but something it, happened. It doesn't seem like I mean, either I'm not, there or in that. Yeah, time. yeah, I'm not uh, sort of trying to undermine your point in any way. I'm just saying that uh, well, I was not in the States and there was nothing unnatural in that because Magnus went back to Norway. So it was not, it was not like one trip, it was two different trips. So Fair enough. Just trying to be as transparent as possible, as always. Beautiful. Yeah, it's Thank great you. to have you um, <laughs> chiming in and giving us Magnus' thinking on all these <laughs> issues. We're, we're, so, we're so happy not to have Twitter fights with you, Peter. I mean, like, <laughs> because you have to discuss every detail, you know, like three days. No, it was one week. <laughs> and it's <laughs> becoming tough, yeah. Moving on. Let's move yeah. on to the statement. I believe that Neiman has cheated more and more recently than he has publicly admitted. His over-the-board progress has been unusual, and throughout our game in the Sinkfield Cup, I had the impression that he wasn't tense or even fully concentrating on the game in critical positions, while outplaying me as black in a way I think only a handful of players can do. This game contributed to changing my perspective. Oof, lot in that one. Mm -hmm. Where to start? Yeah, so now he's referring to, to cheating. So I guess he wants to to I mean like it it's completely obvious that uh, uh, he, he did that uh, th- that letter was checked by a lawyer, and so uh, I think he's just referring to the um, uh, chess dot com uh, statement because now yeah the uh, first the first sentence I mean the first line of the statement is uh, well again to me it looks like a reference to the chess dot com statement where they said exactly the same right yeah I thought and the wording the, was. Sorry, <laughs> and Niemann, Niemann didn't 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 deny that that observation. Sorry, Jan, go ahead. No, no. Um, I thought the wording was interesting because he says in the first sentence, "I believe that Niemann has cheated more and more recently than he publicly admitted," but that doesn't specify if he means online or over the board. And then the second yeah. sentence, he says, "His over the board progress has been unusual, and throughout the game in the Sinkfield Cup, I had the impression that he wasn't tense or fully concentrating in the game and so on." But there he doesn't mention cheating. He just said his over-the-board progress was unusual 
And during the game in the Sinkerfield Cup, he had the impression he wasn't tense or concentrated. Like, um, and I don't think that's uh, that's a coincidence that he mentions that he thinks Neymar is treated more explicitly in the first sentence and then in the second, where he mentions over the board and Sinkerfield, he doesn't. He doesn't say. So, uh -huh. yeah, I, I agree. It sounds like. Uh, uh, Implies legal, he just, he, legal distinctions. Yeah, obviously, I want to say, someone thought about I want this. to point out here, his over-the-board progress has been unusual. I mean, well, uh, I think Ken, Kenneth Reagan is debating that to some extent in his uh, one hour, one and a half hour video in a podcast. And, uh, well, I think unusual, but not uh, impossible is and uh, not unprecedented as far as I remember. But it's been a while since I've seen the... Uh, The video, but um, well, unusual, of course. But um, I mean, again, like everything else, uh, well, um, no, not, we've talked about this. Uh, yeah, other projects so. have uh, made I, similar uh, rating progress, but unusual can also mean many other things, like uh -huh. yeah, whatever the things we've debated with. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Gukesh so progress is also unusual. I mean, it's it becomes a matter of uh, no, Vasine's progress was also unusual, like uh, every grandmaster's progress. Exactly. So, no, I saw. I, I, Actually, I saw one interview with Regan yesterday where he was saying that they were, it was kind of very possible that they were a leak in uh, Team, uh, team uh, Carlsen uh, for, for the PEP, which oh, shows this. <clears throat> I mean, it shows this yeah, poor understanding so of the world situation. So this uh, disqualifies him uh, for, for, for <laughs> I, the rest, I thought in my quite mind. Reason. I mean, also said it should be taken with it. But I, I'm defending you, Peter. I, I mean, Peter you're the most. Him he said I, I thought, Peter I thought we, we know Peter is no longer objective. I thought recently we sort of uh, stopped giving information about prep to at least one person, and the result has dramatically wow. improved. <laughs> wow! <Coincidence? laughs> <Yeah>. Wow! <laughs> no, but I <laughs> thought before we we should get through this first. But clearly, the big winner of the statement is Laurent. No, that and Magnus doesn't seem to be too concerned about the the leak. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Actually, I mean, this podcast is just all about yeah. going me. But okay, okay, okay. I, no, I, 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 but, for us, it's I, obviously it's complete nonsense. But as you know, on Reddit chat and so on, I like, don't know uh, about Peter. The, Who knows, Peter? Like, okay, for Peter, it's uh, 50 50 <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I still like to keep it a bit alive. But yeah, yeah. No, anyway, yeah. I think uh, let's uh, move so on. So no, the there's a lot thing. that has to be said here. I think. Yeah. Um, of course, we didn't expect any big evidence, but that he had the impression that Hans wasn't tense or even fully concentrating during the game. Of course, it's hard to say, but if he already had suspicions before the game and then with the opening going wrong, it would be very, very hard not to feel strange about the game, even if it was the, the most normal behavior in the world. No, So there, I've, I'm not sure how much weight we can put on that, but it's, of course, still... That is something I assume, I assume could be checked. I mean, uh, I assume there is a video existing of this tournament and others. I mean, you can... Well, there's a video of every Hans game now. He's behaving weirdly, probably, but yeah. Well, that's, like, no, that's what I mean. If someone cares to get the videos and, and spend 100 hours watching them, uh, well, it should be possible to get uh, things uh, on that. I mean, question is, yeah, who does it? Does this time come out of Laurent's Nakamura watching? Budget or Peter's golf budget? Like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. No, I, you're zooming in on the problematics. But uh, I mean, the information for that should be out there. It should be possible to 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 have. But it's not verifying. No, like uh, everyone can watch a video and say this guy is behaving strangely, or oh, he looks tense, or he doesn't look tense. No, no, it's no, no. no I, 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 I get your point, but uh, I mean, it doesn't mean that uh, you cannot. Uh, perhaps extract some information of it. I mean, it could be right, it could be wrong. I mean, well, it, it, I'm saying it could make sense to actually check such, if you care. Sure. No, I'm saying um, if we start suspecting people of cheating based on weird over-the-board behavior, like uh, we've all been at some chess tournaments, like that, yeah, yeah. there will be some some suspicion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, Peter doesn't remember. No, but a few things I would like to say uh, about about that. Uh, uh, Magnus, first of all, he played poorly that game, but that explains by the fact that he was uh, he was suspicious uh, uh, before the game. This, of course, this uh, behavior during the game is not uh, cannot be an evidence. But uh, I would say the last point that I would like to to say is that uh, uh, Fisher used to say, "I don't believe in psychology; I believe in good moves." 
I, I would think that Magnus is exactly the opposite. He's very, uh, very careful about uh, about such. And in a way, I, I trust his intuition. As we said before, we trust his intuition. And yeah, that's weird. Uh, yeah, it's not an evidence, but it's uh, very weird if he feels that uh, his opponent is not uh, focused or um, or is losing concentration or, wh- or whatever uh, um, we think happened during the game. So I, I, can't, I, I trust him. I trust his judgment, actually. But could be anything. Fair enough. Yeah. <clears throat> Just, yeah. If you go into a game thinking your opponent is suspect, I think it's impossible to to play well. I think we've I've certainly been there. If you're playing online, even against random people, and you think the guy's cheating, it's no longer possible to make sensible moves. And that's why I would disagree a little bit with the part where he says, "Oh, playing me as black in a way I think only a handful of players can do." Like from the level he showed in that game, I think there's more than a handful of players that could have could have done well if they're facing the exact moves that he plays in that game. You, you, you can create uh, both stories, lines. You can also argue that uh, most players playing Magnus like this, they would try to swap down to a draw at some point instead of keeping punching. I mean, in the first game against Magnus. I mean, you can create whatever version you want, is my impression. I mean, it, uh, Yeah, but no, it's no, no, it's all, uh, all speculating. But if we yeah, look yeah. at the numbers and how many mistakes Magnus made and how, ma- how often it switches to black is much better to 0-0 zero, zero and so on, there's no... I, no red flags. I'm, no. I, no, I'm, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying you can uh, can create your story if you feel like it. No, I'm sure. Just, and so, also, yeah. with all thoughts we have, um, Magnus does know much more about yeah. top-level chess and how people behave and all that. No, it's just a question. No, that's, I mean, not necessarily relating to this case, but in general. I mean, well, we are good at openings and things like that uh, and many things, but I mean, Nepom, Caruana, Magnus, of course, has a better feel for how people react during the game, uh, psychological aspects. I mean, at least I don't feel that's our main expertise. Yeah, but I I, I don't feel that I would still argue there's a difference between (laughs) Caruana, Carson and Nepomnishi also in there. Yeah, yeah. Perception by yeah, point taken. I, I, I mean, like I in, in Miami, I say it's not many players. I mean, he's a very special character, this guy Neiman. I mean, <laughs> like going out of the game and say chess speaks for itself. I mean, and living. I mean, there's not many uh, top players who did that. So I think yeah, it was just smart. No, there was great marketing, made him very famous. I mean, that just yeah. shows a feel for I, so Yeah, yeah, but. It, it shows also, also, that could be I, home preparation, in my opinion. I mean, such a quote you have prepared. I mean, uh, yeah, but after I, I such mean, a Jan quote, is yeah, funny, to... but I'm sure a lot of it is preparation, right? It's not just inspiration. I work incredibly hard on my yeah, yeah. one-liners. Yeah, like, so. <laughs> it's, no, no. you can't a... see the elbow grit that goes into. It. No, no. Um, yeah, but just sorry, one thing I would like to add. Okay, if you if you, if you talk like that, then if you are slightly better as black after 15, 20 moves, you have to play for a win. I mean, it's just and most top players would do that. No, I mean we could argue about single moves, but everyone has checked that game to death. I, like I am the willing to take a bet that I can find games of Laurent where he doesn't. But uh, okay, um, I I'm don't not know. playing the single field cup, but I at understand. the time I was. I'm just saying, if you are twenty six eighty, you play the world champion. You are leading the tournament. I can fi- I mean, this is a chicken chess podcast. Okay, I mean, of course, we can find people who will create the storyline where they swap everything and make a draw. I mean, that, that I can easily. Well, I could see myself doing that. Oh, if I was sure, I'd draw it to it. But like, yeah, uh, but yeah, you're not create is a safe move. Yeah, yeah you, 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 you're not 18 and you don't think you will be the next world champion. I mean, like, okay, it's a completely different perspective. I mean, or you don't think, or you don't claim at least that you will be the, the next uh, uh, watch. Right. Let's say, uh, let's say, uh, let, let's take one guy like as uh, Lotier, uh, who claimed he wanted to be the next world champion. I mean, he had a plus score against Kasparov. I mean, he was going against Kasparov. If, if he would have the best chance as Black, he would just play because. Uh, is not afraid. So, I mean, you can find many, many, many examples of uh, not many, but some. Also, I feel we're getting a bit sidetracked. I think we can agree that game itself is not too strange, like by the moves. Yeah. But he is mentioning that, I mean, uh, that it sort of, uh, what is it, um, this game contribute to changing his perspective, right? That's why I had questions about that, because from the last paragraph, it sounded like his perspective was he already wanted to withdraw from the Sinkerfield Cup because he thinks, um, yeah, when Nima was invited, so he already thought there was something fishy. So what changed about his perspective? 
I mean, the that game and what confused me a little. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like the, the game he played and when he looked at Neiman during the game, I mean, what else can he? Maybe he yeah, but what I find more, more, I mean, this chess based thing with, uh, I, I digged, uh, I mean, I watched a bit of Nakamura stream and I checked myself, uh, the numbers, but I mean, like, I don't know actually how this is. Let's check numbers with this chess base we, we discussed yesterday. This 100% of this very high percentage he gets. I mean, like nobody in the world is getting the same numbers. So, I mean, whatever engine you are using, whatever uh, method you are using is the only one in the world getting those kind of numbers, which is not normal. I mean, there is something, this is much more suspicious to me than, than all the rest, actually. Have you checked it with uh, 10,000 other games? No, I checked with, you know, you go randomly to some games mm-hmm. and you, you check it. No, I didn't do it in a mass way, in a statistics way. Please ask your, your, your boy Regan to, to do it, but I'm sure he will come to the same call. Or maybe he won't <laughs> because uh, he, he gets his song, I mean, like from the, I mean, like yeah. all the time. But I, I don't think, I mean, you see. People are a bit confused by what Laurent is talking about. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> there, uh, yeah, there was this video by. Yosha Iglesias, which we address in a different part of the podcast as well, S- indicating this let's check analysis engine correlation number by Chessbase, and there are other numbers out there. And people did a lot of research for Niemann's games and found, um, yeah, a bunch of very high numbers, a bunch of these. 100% in engine game correlation, which doesn't necessarily mean engine moves. Still don't know what it is. But since then, a lot of people, me included on my stream, have like randomly looked through through our best games or through people's best games and have tried to find the highest numbers we got and how consistently. It's not statistics, but it's very hard to score 100. Like I got 194. I was very proud of myself. But that's all over my chess career. Like people were... We're scanning through it. So it seems to be very tough to get 100. Of course, that's not not stats, but I'm very curious if we will get these stats. So Nakamura actually yesterday was showing his best games and only one against Tito Izaga was uh, 100, but it was like a 25 moves uh, game, but only one. And, and, and the rest was kind of very poor. I mean, like he was saying a bit unarmed. It was 60, 61, 62. I don't know, but it was like... Nothing comparable, no, nothing close to the range of uh, Niemann, which makes things very confusing. Even if I think I have no no clue, uh, no one has any clue of how this let's check uh, stuff works. But it's clear that you switch on some engine and it's uh, like making some deep search and giving you a number. But I mean, like the numbers are very similar for all the people in the world, including Mag- Magnus is a bit tired. Uh, by, Magnus uh, had 100 against Vichy in 2012. Ah, okay. Yeah. And but, uh, uh, he's also quite good. So that's not, not exactly an outlier yet. The normal thing seems to be 70. Anyway, I think we debated this in a different part. I, yeah. I agree. It's hard to get to the 100. Yeah, yeah. So, well, we were speaking about the statement, actually, and this that Magnus said yeah. that this game actually changed his perspective, right? Uh, yeah, that part I'm still confused about what, what changed, but yeah, maybe Hans is over the board. We must do something about cheating, he says. And for my part going forward, I don't want to play against people that have cheated repeatedly in the past because I don't know what they are capable of doing in the future. That's that's a big sentence, no? Like, first of all, who gets to decide who cheated repeatedly in the past? Is it is it Magnus, depending on how he feels? Is it will the list by online cheaters be made public? Will he just not play? Against Hans, because Hans cheated twice online. What's the list? Hans rouses. Well, what does it mean? <laughs> Fella, Naglit. Uh, I don't know. I mean, Ivan, if you can, mind. but well, again, I always come back to structural things. But this is something that you can do in the chess world. I mean, let's say in football, it makes no sense. You don't have control in tennis. You have no control of it either. It's because chess is basically, to a huge extent, a privately run sport, right? Well, of course, Magnus cannot play the World Championship or he has to, I mean, you know, well, or if Hans qualified for the World Championship match and he wanted to still play that, he would have a problem. But it's a very specific thing that you can actually act like this in the chess world. I mean, in other sports, even 
well, sports, golf, whatever. I mean, you cannot control who you, you play with, right? Um, any kind of sport is my impression. Cycling as well. I mean, you cannot say you don't want to cycle against people who have been doped before because, uh, well, I mean, everybody has the right to, to enter events. Chess is, uh, is very different right. in that way. In tennis, if you're saying I'm not playing against a guy yeah. in the semifinals so or whatever? I, I, Well, it does, yeah. Well, you lose, but most likely yeah, you are. Time. Well, of course, you can start faking injuries and not be sanctioned. But I would assume if you just say, "I don't want to play this guy," you're gonna get, um, you know, kicked out, right? Uh, and you will have, it, it will have consequences. Yeah. Sorry. You think if Nadal says, "I don't want to play against this guy in the semifinals," he get he gets kicked out from all tennis tournaments? I think he would be sanctioned. No, you don't think so? I don't know. I don't know, but uh, I mean, I'm not sure. If it's uh, no, no. If chess is so unique. The whole situation is not. Very common, but that's why it's a bit dangerous. I mean, we all agree we don't want cheaters in tournaments, but the the statement itself, um, I'm not sure what it means. We understand he doesn't want to play to play Niemann, but who gets to decide these things? Like if he plays against someone that we know of, but maybe it's not public, that was banned once from Chesscom or Leeches, he's not going to play. Um, I think I think it's too far. I mean, like uh, we are thinking to. It's just making clear in this uh, small uh, chapter that he, he will never play against against Niman, and that okay, if you want to invite him to to your tournament, you better don't have uh, Niman. That's uh, that's how I read it actually. No, no, uh, I think that that, that is made clear. But I'm saying, yeah. it's of course, a nice notion. No one wants to play against cheaters, but uh, we don't have a process who decides. Who are cheaters in the past? Does online cheating count? Well, what comes into it, and so on. No, so it's. Do I feel you're joining me in this statement that uh, we don't trust FIDE enough to have a, a proper functioning juridical system who will catch cheaters, or, or what are you saying? It's not so much juridical. Even I generally trust the online sites, but for them it's also much easier because they can also point to their terms and conditions and say, mm -hmm. "Okay, you can't play on the site anymore." But it's not exactly that mm -hmm. an online site can say you are now banned from chess. And also, ideally, individual players shouldn't say you are now banned from chess because I don't... I think I don't even, it. so it's, I mean, online sites, but even system. some feeder chess tournament, online tournament also has this disclaimer that we have the right to kick you out based on our algorithms, but that doesn't mean that we're juridically accusing you of cheating. We're just leaving you from the tournament. Right? So every site will have yeah, yeah. Uh, like exactly. language like that, which makes it much easier, uh, but yeah. that... Uh, It's not that easy to then stop people from no, no. playing. Well, I mean, to tournaments. say that he will, I mean, he will have to speak for himself. You can also say that he will not play people who has cheated repeatedly till we have a situation in the chess world where we have a, a general trust in the, the anti-detection uh, measures. You can also read it like that, that sure, I will play people again at some point when I actually, I feel assured that I'm not doing it now. That's not what he's saying. No. Sorry? Um, that's not what he's saying. But he, he is saying repeatedly, no? Like, so if you treat once at 13, it's fine. But 13 and 16, uh, and I'm, I'm not saying that's what happened with Hans, but uh, repeatedly is in there. Right. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So now comes the most important. Yeah. There is more that I would like to say. Unfortunately, at this time, I'm limited in what I can say without explicit permission from Niemann to speak openly. What does that mean? Why does he need Niemann's explicit permission to speak openly? Peter. Peter, as our legal correspondent. Yes. I mean, if Anis Giri is still uh, watching, I would also really like to have explicit permission to say whatever I feel about the hacking story. I think <laughs> what, Ma what Magnus is saying here is that, uh, well, there could be juridical implication of saying what he thinks, but I don't know. That's my best guess. I so, it. Uh, so he doesn't think there's implications to saying, I believe that Niemann has cheated more and more recently than he publicly admitted, but well, he wants is, permission to say what he really thinks. That's a ref I mean, the first sentence you're mentioning there is a reference to what chess.com has published, at least, right? So he can, he can, there, he can refer to that this is the most respected, uh, biggest chess server who says they have the most advanced uh, cheating detection, and he's just referring that point of view, and he trusts that. I mean, that I think is not uh, yeah. cross crossing. No, the, I agree. Uh, obviously, this uh, statement was also thought through to not make him I mean, untouchable there. But the way I read it is, I mean, uh, Magnus's insane. opening prep can be weak. I'm sure that legal counseling is, is serious. I think. So, yeah. um, anyway, when he's saying without explicit permission from Niemann to speak openly, I thought that means 
there is some case already pending. I'm not sure what it is, but that's how I interpreted it, that there are already legal proceedings where you can't talk about the proceedings without the other side agreeing to it. That was just my, my speculation. Mm -hmm. um, you guys don't know or won't, won't say. Well, it. you are the one who actually mm -hmm. has some legal education here, so you could very well be right. I, mean, uh... I don't know. I'm just no, no, speculating, no. but mm -hmm. other than that, Explicit permission from Neiman to speak openly. Yeah. I, I want to say really, really bad things about you. Is, <laughs> yeah. that, is that cool with you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't. No, I can make a list of those that I would like this permission. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's very weird to me. I don't know. I have to think. But I, no, I don't of know course. What, what Jan says makes sense in the way that Hans has completely shut up, right? So, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you are calling it. Uh, I thought it was important to notice that uh, you are calling him. Hans and uh, Magnus repeatedly call him not Mr. Niemann, not Hans Niemann, just Niemann. I mean, this okay. is kind of uh... well. He always addresses you as uh, Mr. Fresine. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, I mean, yeah, this is me um, in a friendly way, uh, luckily. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> I think so. Well, you haven't gone down this road, but I think Hans is a is a Danish name, right? So it feels very natural to do to do that to me. Hans actually has the Danish ancestors, as far as I understand. Okay. No, no, it's okay. I mean, I just like Niemann noticed, sounds uh, German to me. I'm sorry. So it feels natural to me. <laughs> that is a good point. It just, uh, yeah, I get your point. It's a good argument. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay, moving on. Yeah. So far, I have only been able to speak with my actions, and those actions have stated clearly that I'm not willing to play chess with Niemann. I hope that the truth on this matter comes out, whatever it may be. Sincerely, Magnus Carlsen, world chess champion. So far, I have only been able to speak with my actions. Is that uh, a slight imply joke on the the chess speaks for itself? I don't think so. I'm not sure there's a lot of jokes in this. Oh, maybe it's too yeah. serious. <laughs> it's not <laughs> something to just slip in. Uh, I, yeah, I get your point. Um, yeah, so we are in a strange case where a suspect uh, like Niemann doesn't have to actually... I mean, it's normally the, the guy who is accusing was to prove uh, that... Uh, is guilty, but now if Niman doesn't want his career to end, he has to prove that he is innocent and he has to answer. Because if he if he if he stays if he remains silent, I mean I don't see how he may be boycotted by organizer, maybe by players. I mean you cannot remain silent. Actually, it's very it's very weird situation. If you, let's say if he's really innocent, that he has to defend himself while there is no there is no evidence. But I mean. Whatever, uh, whatever the truth, uh, uh, whatever comes out, how, how does he say it? Uh, what is, whatever it may be, I mean, he has to speak. He has no choice. Otherwise, his uh, chess career is, uh, is finished. Um, yeah, ideally, no matter what you think, what happens there, shouldn't be like that, no? If Magnus feels okay. that you're, you were behaving strangely during the game, and then if you can't, yeah. Can't defend yourself. Your chess career is finished. I mean, okay, it's it, more like that. It's more than obviously, that, but, yeah. obviously, there's there's more. I understand, but it's still the process is a is a little strange here. While I think we're in general agreement that there is well something something to it, um, it's it's still a bit a bit strange to me. Also, this clothing sentence. But once again, I'm not sure how much there is legal advice. I hope that the truth on this matter comes out, whatever it may be. I would guess Magnus, when he's leaning that forward that much, that he's fairly convinced of, of course, what the truth is. No, like he's not saying whatever it may be. Like if he's innocent or not, I just want this resolved. Then he would have said quite a bit. No, no. I mean, it, it, there's no absolutely uh, zero doubt that uh, Magnus is completely convinced that. Uh, Hence, okay, cheated before, that's for sure, at least online, he admitted it. And uh, in that game, I mean, like, uh, there is absolutely uh, no doubt. And, okay, I, I, I mean, he's, uh, <laughs> he's definitely a top player for, <laughs> for many years, world number one. He has a great, I mean, he was always very uh, careful about psychology. So, I, I mean, there's things he understands that we don't. So... But I'm, I'm very question. confused. Do you think 
Hans Niemann cheated in the game in the Sinkfield Cup against Magnus. <laughs> so you're asking me? Yeah. No. <clears throat> me neither. Okay, Here? but uh, I have the. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe I have a different opinion for the for some of the previous games uh, from Neiman. So, whatever. No, no, no. Uh, I I think yeah. Well, <laughs> I haven't built a final opinion, but there's clearly a lot to look into from the previous games by Neiman. I don't think there's any any debate there. But yeah, <laughs> I think yeah that the game against Magnus in the Sinkfield Cup, we just don't have anything to go on. And you have to explain me how. Actually, because um, in the World Open or uh, this Philadelphia Open, some of the tournaments uh, hands played, I uh, I played there, and I can tell you it's it would have been very easy to cheat. Um, but in the single field cup, I mean, like as Peter said, you are filmed all the way. Uh, everyone is watching. I mean, it's it's a different story. It's not easy. So it's probably possible to have small things and so on, but. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not easy, no. It's not simple. So, I mean, you, you have to give me uh, like um, a scenario where he does it, and then maybe I can. Please, internet, I can think of uh, think of some scenario if it's like, <laughs> funny, funny and mildly, mildly disgusting. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> by all means. Well, we, we need some thoughts. I think that illustrates the problem a bit that we don't even have the expertise to understand uh, these things. That's uh, yeah. Well, well, we that's don't not want a, to have. We never thought about like how can no, you cheat I mean, during an over the. No, but that's game. also. Like, I mean, people need well, to look into it. But yeah. I'm not going to have a, an opinion on this, but also should one have? Should I have that? I would like to spend a hundred hours on it, looking at videos, researching this to great detail. detail speak with people from the Secret Service, how these things are done. I mean, it's a. Uh, it's not something you can expect uh, a, a grandmaster sort of. Do you just casually drop you have access to the Lithuanian Secret Service? Well, that is like, a, well, why can't we use this for our benefit? I, well, they seem to think that uh, they want to use state resources for something else, unfortunately. But uh, yeah. <laughs> but you could use it for like your <laughs> private chess cheating. No, I don't like, uh, hobbies. I, I don't think so, unfortunately. They are mm. mainly there to take care of. Uh, yeah, that we. Don't it's think. on record now. I yes. gotta run. Any closing closing thoughts on Magnus' statement? We will have. I mean, if N- Niman doesn't have any choice, he has to. He has to. He has to answer that. Um, I mean, I, I don't see any other options. I mean, Feed it. Yeah. No. Sorry. Yeah. I mean. Uh, so we will continue. I mean, this chess drama, in my opinion, is not is not uh, over yet. Uh, <laughs> Excellent prediction. Yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, there will be more statements. I mean, like, Niemann won't remain silent. I mean, he cannot remain silent. I'm also very curious if... He's playing the US Championship soon, back in St. Louis, right? Where are the other top players? I mean, every I think everybody's, like, now looking into all this stuff we've been talking about. Um, where the other top players will fall, if they will say, if Fabi, let's say Fabi and Wesley say, I don't want to play Niemann anymore, then it's uh, it's already a very different situation. Like, <clears throat> yeah. U.S. Championship and so on and so forth. Like it's it's very interesting how this will play out. And well, it's very clear that from uh, Kawana and Naka, what I heard, they think that there's something uh, uh, very fishy there. So um, yeah, they don't hide it uh, at all. So I mean, uh, great. everyone is going to great lengths to use like diplomatic wording, but then with they have Laurent, and yeah. he bam, he can see oh, Frank good. Brut and it's translate good. it for us. If you have a undocumented room or you want to get out, just tell it to Laurent, he'll tell it here. That's how it works. Yeah, I can no, make no, it. Don't have to just don't worry. stream it. The one will <laughs> interpret it. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it's clear what, what they're saying. I mean, okay, this game against Gretarsson, you saw the comment of Kawana about the game against Gretarsson, that is, uh, there's two options. There's something very weird about it or he's a complete genius. Okay, I mean, like, I can say it in a more direct way, but I mean, he's saying it in a very direct way already. So I, I don't think Fabi thinks uh, Niman is a complete genius. So this is the second option. Uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, okay, yeah. let's end on a high note with Laurent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Living in the drama will, will keep on giving. Thank you so much for listening to this little update. Thank you.